So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have discussed like how to download and install IDE for Python, PyCharm we have installed and Python interpreter, you can say Python 3.10.6 we have installed, right? So now I guess you are all set with your laptop, you have Python, you have an IDE to write your programs, right? You have that interpreter also, okay, because Python is an interpreted language, so we have already now downloaded and installed a base interpreter for our Python language. I hope you have done this thing. Now in this video, we'll see how to print something on console or you can say we will write our first program in Python. And what usually we do whenever you learn a new programming language, the first program you write is you print that classical hello world on output screen on the console. The same thing we will do. We'll print hello world on the screen, on the console, right, in Python. So, to print, like in C, we use which function? Print a function. In C++, we use C out to print something on the screen. In Python, what we use in Python 3.10, 3.x version, Python 1.x, Python 2.x, Python 3.x. But Python 2.x version, they have ended the support for Python 2.x uh, version, right? 2.1, 2.2 .2 like this. Now, 3.x, we are working on 3.10 basically, the recent is 3.10.6. So in this, we have a function named print. This is the function print. So this we use to print something on the console. Okay. Now don't need to read and uh, don't need to write any header file or anything or main function or anything. Simply you need to write what print whatever you want to print the string or you can say the string or whatever message you want to print that we will put here within these parentheses okay so i want to print hello world so simply in double quotes i'll write hello world that's it no semicolon nothing else if you will run this on your output screen you will get this program this output hello world if you don't print anything if simply you write print and you click on run on that file suppose i have a file the extension of python file is dot py right so we are simply running this thing <coughs> empty parenthesis it's okay it will run what it will print just a blank line okay the, nothing would be shown, just a blank line, a cursor would be here, nothing would be shown. If I want, if you execute two print function, then one and two, two blank line would be shown, something like this, right? So, you can say it will, this print function will produce an invisible new line character. New line means add a new line. So, it will produce an invisible new line character. Because of that new line character, we see, you know, a new blank line on your screen, right? I'll show you practically also. Now, whatever you want to print, you just write within these quotes. We write hello world, simply write hello world. So now let me do some experiment with this, uh, what you have to write down this, how you can write down this thing if you don't put this closing. Uh, quotes, what type of error you will get and these things. Let's just do practical on this uh, print function. And see before going to practical, let me just, this, this is what in Python, the syntax is Python in Python 3, 3.x. In Python 2.x, the previous uh, versions, print was just a statement, it was not a function. So what we used to write in that case, print and hello world, whatever you need to print, you can just write down in these quotes. So print hello world, that's it, no parenthesis. So it was considered, it was a, a, as a statement in Python 2.x, but here in Python 3, it is a function. So if you are using Python 3.x version, right, then if you write something like this, if you don't put these parentheses, you will get error message, syntax error message, right. In If you are using Python 2.x version, you can write down print something like this. So let's just do practical of this thing. 
So, we have opened our pipe charm IDE and let me just first change the color. So, you can go to file if you want to change, if you are uh, comfortable with, with this color you can go for this, but I am not comfortable. So, go to setting and appearance, in appearance just theme and I want either this, this light or window 10 light, this one. So, you can go for any one. Uh, from here you can uh, set these themes okay so now let's change this color and just click ok now I guess you can see it clearly the code fine now oh we have created our first project in the previous video and first file first dot py okay if you want to create another file what you have to do in the first project on first project just click right click new and file and just name your file okay so, I am not going to create in the first dot py only extension is dot py we are printing. So, okay, how to print just use this print function print fine. Let me just write down again print print and see it is showing you this is the you know beauty of this IDE auto completion and see the print syntax it is showing here you can write down this values SCP end file flush whatever these things that also one by one will be discussing. But right now just if I just click enter it will give me like these parentheses automatically. So now within these parentheses I am adding hello world ok. Now let me just run this for you first see from here I have to select here main file is selected. So I am going to select current file. So, current file is first.py, current file means I am working in this file and let's just or you can click in this, this is the run button or you can just uh, right click and this run first, click on this ok. Now, here it is going to run now and now it will print on your screen hello world, first time you know it is taking some time because of the indexing and all. So, see you can see here hello world fine. If I miss this semicolon, this uh, sorry this um, double quote closing double quote. As you can see a red, red underline means there is something wrong, there is an error ok. So, this is what you can say uh, this ID will give you these kind of things. If you use ID this is you can say some features or uh, some advantages of using ID. See missing closing quotes. So, from here only you will come to know yeah you have missed quotes or if you run this here also you will get see now type of error C syntax error syntax error it is a syntax error. So, types of error there are many types of error ok that also uh, with these parallelly uh, with the code we will be seeing this is what syntax error. Syntax mean, means what there are some rules to write programs in any you know programming language and those rules are known as syntax. If you do not follow the syntax then it will give syntax error. So, now syntax or you can say like we have uh, grammar rules ok. Same in programming language also we have some rules to write down these programs. So, these are syntax known as syntax. If uh, now it is syntax error because syntax is what in print whatever string the message which is not a code actually. See print is a code it will do something it will tell the interpreter to do something. But this hello world is rather than hello world I can write Jenny's lectures I can write anything else like you are the best. So, this is what just a message it is not a code. So, other than the code whatever you write the message or the string that we will put in quotes ok single quotes as well as double quotes that also we will discuss when to put single quote, when to put double quote ok. Now, right now I am putting double quote because actually I am from C and C++ background. So, uh, to write down string I used to put the string the sequence of characters a string in double quotes ok. So, now see syntax error it will give syntax error unterminated string literal hello world this is a string literal it is unterminated you have not terminated this thing detected at line number 1 line number 1 this is also a skill 
to identify what is the error type of error in which line and all okay so you have to you know learn this thing also parallel okay now see you can see one arrow here you have started this string literal but you haven't terminated here in line number one or if you are not getting what is the error just simply the error syntax error this thing copy this thing open your google paste that and just click enter okay or more specifically you can write this error in python in whatever programming language you are uh, you know practicing you are learning so generally first uh, you know that link would be from stack overflow so there someone has already asked this type of questions and you will get many answers simple okay so now let's just first what you have to do close this now see after closing this is what syntax highlighting also you need to know the sprint is what in black the string is what in green this hello world plus these quotes in green color okay and if you miss this and these uh, what you can say sorry the sprint is what in not in black it's in blue and these parentheses are in black so if you remove this double quote from here this parenthesis and the ending of the parenthesis, parenthesis this is also in green color so there is something wrong you can identify okay okay now put this one and just run this again so it will print now hello world whatever you want to print you can print now if you don't put this parenthesis it will give an error see you can see the red underline here again okay let me just run this and it will give again some error See, it is giving syntax error missing parenthesis in call to print did you mean this print you are calling print calling means print is a function so we are calling print but missing parenthesis missing parenthesis because we are using 3.x version so okay, you have to put these parenthesis okay now okay what you need to do blank print you can call see blank print also you can call it will no, print nothing but a blank line it will call an invisible new line uh, character so again if i write print and call you will see two blank new line same three four five print blank you will call uh, these blank line would be increased like this i hope now print is clear to you now in next video i'll discuss a coding exercise with you guys okay so I hope every point about print function is clear to you guys how to write down your first program, how to print something on console in Python. Now in the next video, we will see a coding exercise related to this print function, right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.